Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so today I found this really cool resource of all the, um, I guess we'll say popular libraries, C++ resources uh, available for, as I said, C++, uh, uh, namely in libraries, mostly uh, open source. Now here's how it works, it looks like. It pulls the amount of pull requests it gets from uh, GitHub. And in here, you'll cover all the major topics you would expect coming out of C++ in terms of trading, uh, research, capabilities. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, I, I am, as you know, focusing a lot on Python as it stands. Um, I still like my MATLAB a lot. But at the end of the day, the back end to really get your peppiness out of trading systems is obviously going to be in C++. The difficult part is, is trying to find the right libraries to work with um, based upon uh, what other people may say. But this resource is awesome because it's just exactly this. It's based upon popularity, which means usually people will be using it for that particular reason based upon how good it is. And I can sort of verify that it looks pretty accurate. So, for instance, uh, under database here, uh, we have High Redis, uh, the Redis uh, database uh, library for Redis is number two. Uh, this one I got from, uh, I've heard from Ivan, which is a, um, a resource uh, put out by Google, as you can see here. And uh, it's getting up there in terms of popularity. Ivan's been looking at it and... Um, Looks good, but uh, based upon this, I'll stay with my Redis for now. Um, so all in all, you can tell that we've got concurrency is another big one. Uh, we've got Boost Compute Bolt, which I've never heard of. Um, Intel TBB I've heard of, uh, but these other ones seem to be more popular uh, for whatever reason. So if we take a look at this Boost uh, Compute, I believe. Um, you can see here uh, what it's talking about, GP, GPU based uh, using OpenCL and blah, blah, blah. I'll let you get into that. Uh, so there's some really good stuff there. I'm surprised that OpenFlow, sorry, FastFlow is not part of this. Let's see if we can find it. Probably they don't even know about FastFlow. Actually, no, FastFlow is part of the um, uh, SourceForge, so it's not part of GitHub, I think. Anyway, so there's that. Uh, concurrency is taken care of. Um, we've also got some, as I said, database stuff. Uh, GUI is an interesting one for C++. Uh, I don't know which ones I'd probably go with, but this one I didn't know about GTK+. Plus. Uh, a good um, example is screenshots, uh, just so you know who's using it. GIMP. A very popular Photoshop-like editor. Uh, we've also got VMware, all their software is using this library. You know, things that you would never know about or G-Edit. Another one that I've come across is the Qt, uh, this one. Um, and the nice thing about this is that it does have uh, trading, uh, charting as well, those demos as well. You just see we have here so we have various demos that we can use and this is Q custom plot um, so you got this one for trading related uh, I think that one came out of somewhere in the QT stuff somewhere up here along here I believe uh, but um, yeah, all the stuff that you see here is from this resource. Now, the other thing is that's quite interesting regarding uh, math, Armadillo, uh, Ceres, Ceres, um, for modeling, solving, uh, Armadillo, uh, for uh, li a linear algebra library, um, similar to MATLAB. So... Some pretty cool stuff in here that you can go through. Um, let me see what else that might be worth. Oh, uh, this one, if you want fast Fourier transformation, this one's an all-purpose library, the GSL. Uh, that's been out for a long time. Uh, it's got some like over a thousand functions. 
Um, this could be useful for any of these type of mathematical techniques that you need. Um, there's that. Uh, let me see what else we got under the math here. Uh, just so much. GSL, GSL, where am I looking at? Um, let me just uh, look for it. There it is. So we've covered the scientific computing, serialization, cap and proto. I, I've been taught that a long time ago. Um, Lua for scripting, kind of like embedding Lua scripts into your C++, you can do that. Um, this is where the other really important one is your IDE, your integrated development environment. This one, number one, uh, was C Lion. Uh, you see me talk about that one for C++. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to improve. Uh, the blockchain, sorry, the code blocks is another good one, but I've heard there's a lot of bugs in that one. Uh, code light I've never heard of, so I can't really comment on that. Um, let's see what else have we got. A lot, oh, if you really want to learn C++, there's a lot of uh, good resources, free resources to get you started understanding C. Uh, so there's a lot of PDFs available here. Um, these annotations. Uh, we also got analyzers. Uh, we've got some debuggers. We've got, if you wanted to develop a web framework, uh, I don't see why that's what Python's really good at. Um, we've got uh, some of the networking here. Um, some of these uh, video and uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the other one. Um, I can't remember, it's just so much, it's just it's so overwhelming. Uh, we've got different resources for uh, C++ here. We've got, um, what else we got? Uh, oh, the machine learning, very important. All kinds here. So I've heard CAFE, uh, if you wanna do some machine learning stuff. Uh, I mean, these are probably pretty popular for obvious reasons for how they package them and uh, how they can be used properly. Uh, what else? Have, oh, the game engine I was, uh, is obviously is not another really useful one for, for um, trading, but and they're here, physics. This, this could be useful, and some of it's uh, 3D, uh, and which one was it? Bullet? This is quite interesting. Um, no. One of these, maybe this one. Yes. See here, the Academy of Motion Pictures is using this thing. You know, some of the people that uh, would use these libraries is pretty impressive. Uh, this one, Bullet. So NASA is using it. It looks like pretty pretty cool stuff for simulation. It's all open source too. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got? Logging, if you want, um, image processing, uh, it just goes on and on. Audio, I don't think you really need. Frameworks, I have no idea. Uh, this is probably for uh, web stuff. Let's see what this is, just right out of con. Small header only, library that backports. Okay, I guess this could complicate your life as well. But I just want to show this to everybody. Uh, if you are going to get into uh, C++, this is probably a good place to start, especially if you're new to it or trying to get more up to date on where C++ is in terms of um, open source uh, libraries. Uh, one thing I have noticed among all these libraries, a lot of them are pretty well non-Windows um, or non-Visual Studio. These are really geared towards Linux-like operating systems like Linux, obviously, and uh, Mac OS X. So I have noticed that trend in these um, libraries, but I got it handed to this person, um, Faraz Fal, Fal Hali, who's done a pretty good job of compiling stuff and being able to generate all the um, libraries generated by popularity using these pull requests from GitHub. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, uh, let me know what you think and uh, I'll talk to you later.